Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. This is Margos and today I'm going to be showing you my IDE hard drive in 2022. So here we go, here is my uh, hard drives, my memory cards, my uh, free DVD boot, my uh, a hard, the hard drive itself with the PS2 network adapter and here I have a coin just for unscrewing the thing so we're gonna unscrew it show it to you on the bed and then uh, we'll put it back in and this is just to show you so I'll pause the video now and then get back to you so hopefully from now it's going to come off so I have uh, let's see if it's okay it's loose enough enough lo loosened enough no I should be oh yeah I can I can put out very, very carefully. Ooh. Okay, like this. This is the hard drive itself. Uh, okay. So yeah, uh, I'll have to, I might have to turn it a little bit, so wait for that. And here's the other side. I can't exactly uh, pull it off because it, takes quite a while to put it back on and it's not very stable but yeah uh, let's put it back and of course not to forget this is how it looks from this side so yeah it's I've cleaned it but <laughs> after months of using this it's not exactly clean anymore so yeah one more thing you should always check that it's t uh, plugged it's quite in tight so that's good so let's continue as well from that Alrighty, so I have plugged it in just the, uh, the this and the AV uh, cable. So yeah, I'm going to now plug in the rest of the stuff in, and then turn on the TV. That's all I will do. Now that it's on, I'm going to press the AV cable. You might remember this, and turn on the PS2 itself, and then. Uh, we will see if the free boot menu comes up, but it should. But but I think it's working because I can hear the sound very well. Yeah, it's quite loud if you haven't figured out, but <laughs> um, it does work. Luckily, as you can see, there's no, there's no, it, it's all in there. And apparently, it sounds like this on uh, most uh, ID hard drives as well. Oh, we have uh, <laughs> the Drive of Two game in it. Let's actually uh, restart this. And I'm going to get back to you after after that's uh, put out. So I've put the game out and now you can see the menu. As you can see it says HD boot and not mega boot on the in the middle. This is just the default stuff that's on there right now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it, don't worry guys. Alright, so what I've done now is I've just plugged in the external drive because I'm going to need it to be able to uninstall it and install it onto the uh, hard drive itself, if, if I remember correctly. So let's go onto the menu and go on launch elf. Oh, my chair is broken again. Alright. And I think I'll actually look on the uh, TV itself instead of uh, the, uh, I can't even talk today, Jesus. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go on to here. We go on to FMCB installer, free memory installer basically. And I'm going to reinstall it so I can wipe the hard drive. And if I remember right, you have to press R1 to go onto the uh, free hard drive boot itself. So uninstall, actually, I could format it, I suppose. But no, we're going to uninstall first. And we're going to do yes. Uh, the installation was cleaned up successfully. So if we exit, oh wow, it's raining a lot. Uh, you probably won't be able to see that, but yeah. <laughs> uh, quit program. I know there's not gonna be anything. There's not. There's not gonna be 
um, the uh, external drive might actually stop working because uh, it's not oh interesting and yeah, there's still some stuff here though no data hmm there's more space than this by the way I'm not really entirely sure why uh, it's not wiped but oh yeah I'm actually oh yeah that's so it's wiped basically pretty much so I'm going to pause the video and then get back to it because I need to think how I'm gonna say this now the turn is for the DVD itself so uh, since I don't I suppose I actually I do need the external never mind because we're gonna need it for the frame of, frame of boot again so the external driver actually need it is needed I mean okay thinking my I might actually uh what I might do is put uh, some song over this and maybe put some subtitles because yeah you can see the result basically well, let's go into the browser and then the CD itself oh there's actually some so there were some options never mind DVD video hopefully you can see all of it and I'm going to use the DVD to be able to wipe the hard drive itself not the external one, the internal one, okay? don't worry about that it's specifically made to to work on the internal hard drive and please focus, thank you okay, file browser we're gonna go on miscellaneous and on HDD manager because I want to really wipe it as much as I can uh, if I remember, oh yeah, I need to press R R1 to go to the menu and entirely format it, so press format and format entirely actually destroys all partitions and that, mean, that just means erasing them really doesn't really mean destroy but yeah so while it's doing that you, we're gonna read, read in the information that it's uh, signaling or I don't even know what the word is but oh yeah it's done it's already done that was fast wasn't it so yeah uh, we don't have the OPL anymore we don't have anything custom we just have what should be on to the, on the uh, hard drive itself so each uh, yeah I can see some some of these things are a bit different from each other it's not totally the same yeah okay exit and I wonder what's gonna happen if we actually go on okay file browser uh, miscellaneous no I didn't mean to go there it's really hard to look on the TV as well as the phone sorry about that uh, browser so we're gonna check if there's anything aha oh yeah because I, it's because I wiped the uh, I don't have browser 2.0 anymore so let's go back actually we might not even need to if you have browser 2.0 what's gonna happen if you press version uh, you're actually going to get the, the uh, MAC address and I, th I believe maybe even other stuff which can be quite important for some people I guess anyway let's go back onto the DVD itself so yeah And now we're going to install it again so this is all just to show you how it all works so if I go to mass and go to FEMA boot and the appropriate version and then go on to the install.elf as you can see it's .elf 
and you're going to be able to see the program run. So once again, R1 is the version of this uh, V.0.987. So we're going to press R1 and uh, install on install if FHDB. Uh, FHDB will be installed onto the hard disk. Continue. Yes, of course. Let's continue. And you can see this is really fast. I only have a 30 gigabyte hard drive. But it works, works perfectly fine. It's actually faster than some of the videos I've seen, so it works pretty good. Okay, exit. And okay. And now if I remove the uh, DVD, what's going to happen is we will actually see the free hard, hard disk drive uh, boot. So yeah, if I uh, go back first, ta-da, it works. So yeah, th these are the buttons. And I can now actually take out the tree, uh, I mean, <laughs> take out the disc as well. So there we go. I would have showed you more for this video, but it's a bit too long. Um, I don't really know how I, I would be able to do the browser 2.0, which shows the icon for the hard drive in, inside of the browser. So that's everything for now. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.